stepping back a little bit is always a good plan at certain parts of the process. And this is certainly one of them. I want to explain some identifiers and labeling options that you will come across and be dealing with soon on Amazon. Identifiers that we want to talk about are the ones that are directly related to us, especially the ones at this part of the process that you may or may not already have some questions or queries about. So let's now deal with SKUs or SKUs, barcodes, ASINs, and FN SKUs, and their relevance and importance to our business with regards to Amazon. First up is your SKU, often referred to and labeled on Amazon as MSKU or Merchant SKU. SKU stands for Stop Keeping Unit and should be created and assigned to your product by you. When I say a SKU is generally unique to you, I mean that it is possible that another seller or company could have the exact same SKU as you. However, there is no problem with this. Even if it was another company on Amazon, nothing would conflict with yours, as yours is for your use in your business and no one else's. They are unique to a product in your business, or in simple terms, you cannot and will not have two different products with the same SKU. There may be similarities, of course, especially if you have a product which has a color, size, or capacity variation, such as a six-foot pool rake, as well as a three-foot pool rake. These SKUs may only have one-digit variations, and that's no problem at all. Suffice to say that these are used for us and us only to identify a product in our lineup. And with that in mind, no two of our products will have identical SKUs. Next up is barcodes, commonly referred to as EANs or UPCs. An EAN is not the same as a UPC, although they are both barcodes and both are suitable for use on Amazon. EAN barcodes have 13 digits and UPC have 12. And it is very likely when buying barcodes that you'll be given both types upon purchase. There is no real difference to you. It is very simply pick one type and stick with it and keep them the same throughout your journey. We always get asked the question of which is one is better. Well, neither is better and neither is worse. The reason that they both exist that traditionally EANs were used in Europe, while the UPC was used more in North America. However, nowadays, they are both globally used and accepted. These barcodes are purchased by you and your business. They are then unique to you and you own the authenticity certificate of those barcodes. Each barcode will be unique to a product in your business. And it is very good practice to keep your list on file and every time you assign one to a product, note that product skew down beside the barcode. That way, you avoid the mistake of trying to use an older product's barcode for a newer item. Although Amazon will not allow you to go further in the adding a product process without an unassigned barcode. But if we have these noted down, it keeps us organized. We use them to define our product and list them on Amazon. If we ever decided to sell our products in another channel that requires products to be scanned before payment or fulfillment, then they will also allow us to do this as well. The barcode of our product never has to change. Now we'll look at the first of the Amazon only unique identifiers, the ASIN. We are well versed by now on ASINs, but let's take a look and a moment to explore a bit more about them. ASIN stands for Amazon Standard Identification Number and is 10 characters, an alphanumeric, normally starting with a B. It is assigned to our products when we start the listing and the assignment is done by Amazon's internal catalog automatically. They are generally global, meaning that the same ASIN is used for products in all Amazon marketplaces. This is not always true, however. The Amazon catalog also looks to merge products with the same barcode, but differing ASINs every so often to keep the catalog clean. There's nothing to worry about, by the way. They are unique to a product insofar as every different product on Amazon has a different ASIN. If two sellers sell the same product, then that ASIN will be the same for both sellers. For example, the same model of Black & Decker drill sold by two different people will have the same ASIN. We simply use them to comply with Amazon. It's what Amazon essentially calls our product in their system. If we are communicating with Amazon for whatever reason about a product, we would refer to the product by its ASIN. Moving on to another Amazon identifier called FNSKU, or in other words, Fulfillment Network Stock Keeping Unit. This identifier is also a 10 character alphanumeric and is assigned by Amazon's internal Fulfillment Network systems automatically. It can be exactly the same as the ASIN of the product. If this were the case, then it would be the original seller who listed the product, and the product would be their own brand. That is, someone like you. 
it is highly likely that your FNSKU will be the same as your ASIN. There is no issue if your SNSKU is or is not the same as your ASIN. It really doesn't matter. Why is this? Because we recommend using the barcode as your initial unique identifier for your Amazon listing. By doing this, we remove the dependency on the FNSKU. Not only this, but we are not assured of global parity of FNSKUs. Therefore, they are not recommended as your primary identifier. An FNSKU is unique to the mix of product plus seller. I can best demonstrate this by the same example I used earlier of the Black & Decker drill. Let's imagine we have two different sellers. We both sell the Black & Decker F430 drill and they are both being sold via FBA. This means that both sellers have stock at Amazon, but whose stock would be whose and which unit would be the staff in Amazon lift when each seller makes a sale? You see the conundrum? That product has the same barcode, the product has the same ASIN, but it is the FNSKU that is different. Many people ask this question because there is a lot of conflicting information out there. Should I really have my barcode on the product or should it be the FNSKU? Well, here are the huge reasons for the barcode versus the FNSKU. The barcode will never change. The FNSKU can. The barcode is global, whereas the FNSKU is not. The barcode can be labeled by Amazon in the event that this changes later down the line, whereas the FNSKU cannot. Barcodes are universal in all sales arenas, whereas the FNSKU are only for Amazon. It's quite clear and it's very simple. Barcode your items, do not use the FNSKU.